Do not be far from me, for trouble is near, and there is no one to help. Psalm 22, 11. In a world full of sin, sorrow, despair, disease, trial, and tragedy, mankind is desperate for hope. Though there is so much beauty in this world, there is so much pain, and pain can be hard to understand. The Bible offers an answer that we're born into a fallen world, that from birth we are born into a sinful nature, counting us unworthy of a relationship with the living God, our Creator. And in God's kingdom, there is unconditional love, security, no sickness, no pain, no sin. Romans 3.23 says, All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and this sin separates us from God. Its effects have rippled across the earth for centuries, introducing the problem of pain that no man can evade. Since God is perfect and no sin can be found in him, but mankind is born into sin, then how could we ever experience the hope of re-entering relationship with him? We needed help. There were more than 300 prophecies about a Messiah who would come to pay the penalty of the sins of the world and reconcile mankind back to God. These prophecies were written more than 700 years before one like him ever came. 124 prophecies in the book of Isaiah, 101 prophecies in the book of Psalms. These prophecies told of a man that would come, but no ordinary man. Isaiah 9 foretells that he would come through the lineage of David. Psalm 2 foretells that he would be the Son of God. Psalm 107 foretells that he would perform miracles. Psalm 41 tells that he would be betrayed by one of his own disciples. Isaiah 53 foretells that he would bear our sins and our sorrows, that he would stand silent before his accusers, and that after living a perfect and sinless life, he would die a gruesome death for our sake. He would be a sacrifice to forgive the sins of the world. And though he was given the name that is above every name, the mighty name of Jesus, the first miracle was the way that he came, humbly, silently, as a baby born to a virgin named Mary.